And Noah said it's a short loop, but we have 2,600 meters of elevation on 50k. This is like 2kg more. Mm -hmm. Fuck. We're very safe right now building the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> La Palma might be not the best spot for camping, but I really wanted to do this challenge and it was kind of about carrying the tent and everything. Uh, it didn't always work out the way that I wanted it to, but hey, so far it's been an insane experience. The landscape, nothing I've ever seen before. It's insane, like riding on a volcano, like touching the lava, it's, it's such an experience. I also completely underestimated how much harder it is if you have your bike full of stuff. The camping equipment, like the food that we need, the water that we need. One more thing about La Palma is, the only way is up. <laughs> the island is like a, tri like a triangle towards the middle. You either go up or you go down. Yeah, so all we've been doing was just going up for hours, going down for a couple of minutes and then going up again. <laughs> and that with is extremely heavy bikes. On this trip so far, a lot of things don't really go as planned, but I guess that's just part of a good adventure. In case you're wondering why I'm out of breath, I've just done a kilometer of 70%. This is just normal. This happens every single day, five times. And 17% is not even the worst. What was the steepest that we've done? 29. 29! <laughs> And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how far you can climb with a 22 kg bike on sand. Congrats! We made it 30 meters. <laughs> Call the firefighters, please. If 17% on tarmac with luggage. It's not hard enough, hard enough for you. You can do it on sand. Alina is a master of packing stuff with other stuff. This is a chocolate package and a banana sticker. <laughs> it's a Tupperware. And there's bread inside. <laughs> Can I break it? Yeah. I don't think I want to pack another thing in there. Also, there's nothing I could ever potentially buy here. Nothing surprised me anymore. 
Oh, there's one. There's a 7-Eleven there. <laughs> yeah. This bread has come a long way with us. I've carried it for two days. And now it's going to be eaten. Some numbers of the trip so far. It's not even 190 kilometers and 5,500 meters of elevation. Three hours, 20 kilometers. Holy fuck, we've basically just been walking our bikes uphill. <laughs> fuck, this sand nightmare has come to an end. Tarmac. Hell yeah. Oh. Bye. Uh, I refilled my bottle and I'm going to use that water to like clean myself up a little bit from the sweat from the day. It was really cold, but I'm kind of clean now. Yay. I actually feel much better now. It was kind of cold. It is like 15 degrees here. We are on 1,500 meters, but I think the cold shower um, really helped with my blood circulation. It's now going and um, my body's heating up. Do you like it? It's cold as fuck. <laughs> I'm getting naked again because I want a picture. <laughs> I feel warm. Like it feels good. <laughs> but I was freaking cold for some time. Thanks. <laughs> so we are getting everything ready to build a tent. And uh, putting all the clothing on that we have, you can actually make a fire. It's still going to be cold and it's also a bit scary because we are the only people here. <laughs> Hell yeah, the tent is here. There we go. Right next to a fireplace and um, if we're lucky, we still have bikes tomorrow. I'm the fire master because I know fire, fire couldn't breathe. But I grew up in the forest and had, oh, yeah. and I had an uncle living Lumber, in nature. Lumberjack. <laughs> uh, and my uncle lived in the forest, and I spent quite some time at his um, home. <laughs> The no service thing freaks me out a little bit. But this also means no stories, no posts, nada. It's a little bit scary here, as it's like black black. So I'm gonna think happy thoughts and have a great night's sleep. <sighs> I'm really tired. Um, yeah, it's actually warmer than the other night in the tent because it's way less windy in the forest. So I recommend a forest spot for a tent. Yeah, this is uh, the little setup. It's very small, um, but that also means it's easier to like stay warm on a small tent and like easier to transport, less weight. We are right back where we started. <laughs> the master of bike box transportation. Lena, you stressed? Yeah, fuck. Our, flight, uh, our plane leaves in 30 minutes. I am so tired of traveling. Oh.